Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can get your Microsoft OAuth credentials and connect your Microsoft apps to NHN. Let's dive in. So first thing, if you're using an NHN cloud version, all you need to do is sign into your Microsoft account and you should be good to go. However, if you're on the self-hosted version, then you're just going to have to follow the steps along with me and you should be good to go as well. So first thing you have to do, if you don't have a Microsoft Azure account, then you need to create one. And next, what we're going to do, we're going to come to this link, portal.azure.com, and I'll leave the full link here so you can just follow along with me. Next steps, we're going to have to create a new registration. So coming over here where it says app registrations, we want to click on new registration. So just gonna click on it like that. And we want to give it a name. So the name here I'm going to give is NHN demo. And then for the supported account types, we have two options that we can use. So we have the first option, which is accounts in any organizational directory. So that is if you're using an organizational Microsoft account and you have to make sure it is multi-tenant. And we have the second option, which is also multi-tenant, but also has a personal Microsoft account. In my case, I have a personal Microsoft account, so I'm going to be going ahead with that. Next thing, we want to get a redirect URI. So to get that, we need to go to NHN. So coming to NHN, we can come over here to this button that says create workflow, and we wanna just click on the drop down over here and click on create credential. Clicking on create credential, we're going to have different options of credentials that we can create over here. So I'm gonna search off Microsoft. And here, this same method applies to doing any Microsoft applications, but for this demo in particular, we're going to be using Microsoft Outlook. So we're just going to search up Microsoft Outlook. Awesome, so we click on that, and we're just gonna click on continue. So here we can see everything here. And what we need to copy for our next step is this OAuth redirect URL, because that's what we'll be using as our URI in the next step. So click over here to copy, and we're going to go back to here in our register application, and we're just going to paste that over here. Next, we have to select the platform. So here we want our platform to be web, and we're just going to click on register. Now we've registered and here we can see all the information. So coming back to NHN, here where we're setting up our credentials, we can see that we need some other fields. So one of the fields we need here is our client's ID. To get our client ID, we're just going to come over here and we're going to copy this over here that says application client ID. So we just come over here, we copy that to clipboard and we paste it over here. Next, we need our client secret. So for our client secret, we're going to come back to Azure and we're going to go to certificates and secrets. In this area, we can create a new client secret that we can then use for our credentials. So clicking on new client secret, we're going to put in a description for this client secret. And I'm just going to put in NHN demo. So here we're able to set an expiry for that client secret. So make sure you keep this in mind so you can always go and update your client secrets to make sure they're active at all times. So here I'm gonna use it and leave it as the 180 day, six months expiry. And I'm going to click on add. Awesome. So next steps is we wanna come over here and copy our client secrets. So we're just going to come here to the value and wanna copy that to clipboard. And coming back to NHN, we can just paste that in here. Next steps after this, we wanna click on connect my accounts where we're able to give access to NHN to perform various actions using our Microsoft app. So coming over here, we're going to click on accept and awesome, we can see our connection is successful. So this is how you can get your Microsoft OAuth credentials for NHN. If you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see to help you better on your AI automation journey, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll be creating videos to help you guys with that as well. All the resources will be in the description, so make sure you check them out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.